Hello everyone, I'm Jessica Blackbird. Welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. According to the Associated Press, a man accused of killing 22 older women goes on trial again. In Dallas, Texas, after Mary Brooks was found dead on the floor of her Dallas area condo, grocery bags from a shopping trip still on her countertop, authorities decided the 87-year-old had died of natural causes. Even after her family discovered jewelry was missing, including a coral necklace she loved and diamond rings, it took an attack on another woman weeks later for police to reconsider. The next capital murder trial for Billy Sherman Mears, 49, begins Monday in Dallas in the death of Brooks, one of 22 older women he is charged with killing. The charges against Sherman Mears grew in the years following his 2018 arrest as police across the Dallas area re-examined the deaths of older people that had been considered natural even though families raised alarm bells about missing jewelry. Four indictments were added this summer. Sherman Mir, who maintains his innocence, was convicted in April of capital murder in the smothering death of 81-year-old Lou Ty Harris and sentenced to life in prison without parole. He will receive the same punishment if convicted in Brooks' death. His first trial in Harris's death ended in a mistrial last November when the jury deadlocked. Lauren Adair Smith, whose 91-year-old mother is among those Sherman Mears charged with killing, will be among the many relatives of victims attending the trial, which she said brings a huge bag of mixed emotions. At the same time of having that dread feeling we are really glad to go back and bring this chapter to a close, Smith said. It was Mary Annis Bartell's survival of a March 28 attack, 2018 attack that set Sherman Mears' arrest in motion. Bartell, 91 at the time, told police that a man had forced his way into her apartment at an independent living community for seniors, tried to smother her with a pillow, and took her jewelry. Before Bartell died in 2020, she described the attack in a taped interview that was played at Sherman Mears' previous trials. She said the minute she opened her door and saw a man wearing rubber green rubber gloves, she knew she was in grave danger. Police said they found Sherman Mears the next day in the parking lot of his apartment complex. He was holding jewelry and cash and had just thrown away a large red jewelry box. Documents in the box led them to the home of Harris, who was found dead in her bedroom, lipstick smeared on her pillow. At trial, prosecutors presented evidence that Harris and Sherman Mir were checking out at the same time at a Walmart just hours before she was found dead. In a video interview with police, Sherman Mir told a detective that he made money by buying and selling jewelry and that he had also worked as a caregiver and a security guard. Most of Sherman Mir's alleged victims live in apartments at an independent living community I mean, lived in apartments at independent living communities for older people. The women he's accused of killing in private homes include the widow of a man he cared for while working as an at-home caregiver. Brooks' grandson, David Cudahy, testified that he found her body on January 31st, 2018, he said she had sometimes used a cane, but was still healthy and active. She would walk to church. She would walk to the dentist down the street, Cuddy, he said. Police testified that grocery receipts showed Brooks was at Walmart the day before her body was found. 
Surveillance video from the store showed a vehicle matching the description of Sherman Mears leaving just after Brooks going in the same direction. Dallas County District Attorney John Krezut, a Democrat, decided to seek life sentences rather than the death penalty when he tried Sherman Mir on two of his 13 capital murder cases in the county. His Republican opponent has criticized that decision as he seeks re-election in the nation's busiest death penalty state. In an interview with the Dallas Morning News, Krezot said he's not against the death penalty, but among things he considers when deciding whether to pursue it are the time it takes before someone is executed, the cost of appeals, and whether the person would still be a danger to society behind bars. Sherman Mir, he said, he added, is going to die in the penitentiary. Prosecutors in neighboring Collin County haven't said if they will try any of their nine capital murder cases against Sherman Mir. Wow. I mean, this man, if I'm, you know, because everyone's supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, right? But looking at this evidence that most of these elderly people had some sort of connection to him, um, where he was a caregiver, groundskeeper, security guard, whatever, at these different um, apartment complexes for the elderly. And one of the victims was the wife of a man that he um, given in-home care to. So you guys, it looks like his ass is guilty. And if he is found guilty in his second trial and sentenced to prison for the rest of his life, well, you did it. You took you're accused of taking 22 lives. What a disgusting, disgusting thing to do to elderly. How many more years did these people have to live? And you snuffed those years away from their families. I mean, just disgusting. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments. I know it makes me think about my grandmother who didn't live to be an old age, but we miss her so much that sometimes I sit and think, how would our lives, all of us, how would our lives have been different had she lived? And the little time the few years that these people had left with their loved ones. If he did it, which in my opinion he did, he took that away from them. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.